Hello, we're out and about. Well, we're just feeding the baby. Danny's going to work, aren't you? I am. And he's not going to get home till like one in the morning, probably. Whoa. Whoa. Can't just nearly reverse into us. Uh, I'm meeting my Naomi. And uh, I've not seen her for, well, I was pregnant last time, I saw her. Is it January, maybe? I don't know. Long time. Can't wait to see her. Just going to have a stroll around the park. Uh, drink some coffee, hopefully. <laughs> and now I've got to set the pram up. And I always really struggle with it. I can do it. It's just, I don't find it very easy. <laughs> to our order process. We've done this so we can get your orders out to you safely. Please bear with us. Okay. Oh, coffee smells so good. I don't remember last time I had a Costa. I had one with you, Sophie. Well, Costa. Yeah. I've had one from a garage, but I've not had a proper one. No, last time I brought you one, I brought you from here. Did you? Good. Have a what? Dad, yeah. you remember the date yet? Yeah. Oh, he said it was the 24th, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, is that me? Thanks. Yeah. This was the last game we went to. And we were laughing at people that had pulled the scarves up over their noses and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at them dickheads. Yeah, we oh, it's never going to happen. If it were last gig ever you went to, you'd check it, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, it was ace. It's really good. Did I tell you, you know, when I, we had that gig at the theatre the other week? My bad. Oh, yeah. Um, you have to stay at your table if you're watching the band. Oh, yeah. And you order drinks on your app. Yeah. Well, you could, like, click what category you know, draft, soft drink, oh, snacks, yeah. you know, yeah. on this app. And there was a, a category called buy a drink for the band. Not really. And they could choose to buy a band member a drink. Yeah. And uh, I didn't know until obviously we got there. And they were like, oh yeah, we've um, we've picked you a pint of cider for your drink. I was like, all oh, right, I'm drinking in the day then, am I? Cheers. <laughs> They picked the most horrendous photo because yeah for each member yeah. so they'd obviously gone on facebook and picked a horrible picture where i'm like you know thanks guys <laughs> but, but when they had the drag act on in the evening like their drinks table was absolutely full obviously it's the evening yeah but um I, th I think i was the only one that actually got a drink bought for me um and uh, I said, I said on the uh, microphone, I said, um, you do know that there's a drinks app, uh, don't you? Yeah, well, do you all know how it works? And they're all going, yeah. And I was like, we clearly don't, because I'm the only one that's got a drink. <laughs> Did I tell you about my idea for uh, a naming ceremony? Well, I'm not religious, so I don't want to get a christened or anything. But I quite fancy having a little get together for her. But I don't want to. Piss up for the baby. Yeah, well, that's what I'd like to call it. Yeah. Piss up for the baby. Because I think naming ceremony is a bit like, oh, naming ceremony, which I'm not at all. But then I was looking into dots celebrants. Yeah, dots do. That'd be nice. Uh, looking at, you know, celebrants that do weddings and. 
No, it's not a wedding planner, but the, the one that stands at the front says, Thank you all for coming today. What do you call them? MC. MC. Then. Master of Ceremonies. They, uh, thank you for coming today to Dot's naming ceremony, and Dot is this old, and blah, blah, blah. And But the price has started, 200 quid. For a total stranger, yeah. So, uh, I'm thinking about asking one of my drama friends. Why don't you get no bed Tell him. Why don't I get one of my gobby mates that doesn't mind standing up in front of a crowd and love, yeah, if we like write the scripts and stuff? Because there's nothing official. Legal no, there's like no that. certificate but, or registration or anything like that. It's just. Well, wouldn't, um, wouldn't Ross do something like that? Oh, no, Ross is a twat. No, he's a twat, but he'd do something like that. Somebody like. She'd have to Yeah, somebody, yeah. Uh... No, yeah, I think he'd, he'd love it too much, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah. And make it about him. It needs to be somebody that, like, genuinely loves the baby and me and Dan and you know but I've got quite a few dramary friends that could do that haven't I so it's just a case of writing a script isn't it like I say, when having a christening yeah, it, it makes it easier to get him into a C of E school which tends to be the better school oh yeah that's fine there is one actually Yes, melt of semen. And it is the better. Exactly. But, I mean, it's not, because she'll, if you're still there, she'll be in the catchment area anyway, won't she? Yeah. So, I mean, at this rate, she's going to get homeschooled anyway, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Which one are we going to first? Smiths? Yeah, might as well, don't we? While she's asleep, I can just run in car. Uh, returning the what do you call it walker thing that we got last week for because it's knackered well it's not knackered it's perfectly fine but it's missing a major selling point for me which was the little black hooks um uh, you can't hook things onto it Do you love your new book? Is it so good? It's crinkly. Oh, she's like blinding herself with the mirror and the sun. <laughs> Maybe we'll just flop this over it for now, so you're not blinding yourself. You love it. Oh, hey. yeah, love it. What did we get? So, Auntie Sophie got her this little fabric book because she really likes black and white. And it's crinkly. I like crinkly. But it's got loads of nice grabby bits and bits. And she loves the mirror. So, that's from Mamas and Papas. 20% off. And I got her this in sale. This is 25% off little outfit. Mamas and Papas. Dots for Dot. I think it's a boys actually, but I oh know it can't be because it's got tights. But it was on the boys bit. Um, so that was 16 quid with 25% off. So, And then I saw this and I was like, oh my God, I love it. But I only really like the hat with it. A um, little set from TK Maxx. It's a little knitted dress, but it has a little beret, a little knitted beret with it, which I think will fit her now, so I can't wait 
to get that on her. And then from Boots, we got um, a baby thing. It's like a little sucky dummy thing. So you can put like fruits in it. And we can have a little suck and try things. Hi, Daddy. Look. We got, got a little sucky wing thing. Ah, loads more baby stuff yeah, to yeah. fill up the house. I couldn't resist that because it was pink bin yinyas. It's like um, a little... Biscuits. Yeah, they're not. They're minging, apparently. I'll be trying. Sophie I'll be gave her children these bicky... What are they called? Bicky, 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 bicky pegs. Apparently they taste like dog biscuits. Do you want to try one? Not now. Why not? Go on. So these were made like in the 20s, apparently. Uh, 25, nine, tea, experts in teething okay, well, since well, 1925. How good were people's teeth in 1925? Natural teething biscuits. Oh my God, what's the ingredients? Wheat flour, wheat germ and water, suitable from six months. Oh, okay, so it's a biscuit with a hole in it. I'm gonna open this new formula. Are oh, you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was another thing I bought. It's a new formula. The, the, open, the pack is exactly the same. I know, and it's like got a bear lying on its side on the front, like the other pack it has as well. Does it smell? Of course, it, it smells, smells like fish bones, just like the other one. Does it? So you tie these bicky pegs onto the string. <laughs> I, I, I can't tell the difference. Don't mix them. I just don't. Know. Why? So let's see if there's a colour difference, but there isn't. You absolute I spaz. I have one scoop in. Of a new one? Yeah. Why? Just to see if it was any different That's really colour. stupid. Why is it? Because if it don't work, we've just ruined that other one. You haven't. There's one scoop tops in here. Uh, I've got teething mitts as well, because she keeps chewing her hands, and I thought it might be good. She's just had a bottle, you know. I thought she, they said she had not been fed in five hours, so I didn't know she's just had one. Oh, what the hell? Right, no way. <laughs> Um, I've got a nasal aspirator. Helps physically clear your baby's nose for instant relief from congestion. So you, sh you shove it up the nose yeah. and suck it, says. Yeah, you can try that. All right, come on then, let's look. Go on, there. Oh, is that, is that, that a is biscuit? It. Yeah. It's like a fucking wood joint. Go on thing. then. Oh, Christ. Don't break your teeth. Oh, I like that. They don't taste like dog biscuits. It tastes like digestive with no sugar in it. Uh, oh, I like that. Uh, uh. Oh, it's awful. It's like cardboard. Yeah, nothing is No. I, it tastes like a burnt chip. I mean, uh, that's, that's all right. Horrible. Where's my drink? Oh, why is it so hard? To help the gums, like, snap, cut through to the teeth. Oh. You don't give it them once they've got teeth, obviously, because they'll break the teeth. Mm. Anyway, Vicky Pegs, highly recommended apparently. Uh, I've got some bio freeze for my shoulders. I've actually booked in, I didn't mention this in last week's vlog, booked in for um, massage this coming Tuesday because my sister's just had a crunch on my shoulders with this bio freeze cool gel. It's not medicated, there's no ibuprofen or anything in it, but it does feel cool on my skin. It's what she recommended in the email. Um, massage lady I spoke to so but Sophie was just feeling my shoulders and she said this one that's the sore one there's like lumps in it compared to my other one which is fine so looking forward to that on Tuesday so it was one of my subscribers actually that noticed in the background of my last blog that we're using at mil milk Hello, I can't remember your name, I'm so sorry, but hello, thank you so much. Um, she pointed out that Actimil, which is £11.50 a box, has exactly the same ingredients as Cow and Gate, which was £7.99, I think it was. So me and my sister were reading out to each other all the little nutrients to each other, how many milligrams per 100 ml there are. And they are pretty much exact, they're not exact exact, but if you look at the box, like, it's exactly the same box. It's exactly the same layout. Um, like even the barcode at the back 
if you look they are exactly the same oh, let's see the barcodes are exactly the same position all the information is the same position everything looks exactly the same i don't know if you can tell but even the front right look that bin's at... half full which Kissing one is... oh god <laughs> But if you look at the front, they've both got like a little sleepy bear on as well. So we're going to give it a try. I hope she's going to be all right with it, but it's quite good. If you could save four quid a week or, well, mind you, she's probably going through more than one of these a week now, but we'll give it a try. Well, yeah, the whole point of us going out today was to get the part for this, which was ridiculous. Well, he's dismantled it once. So what they did in the shop, I went in and they were like, oh, is that a return? Yeah. What's wrong with it? Oh, well, um, there's a part missing and I kind of bought, the whole reason I bought it was for this part that's missing. All right, okay, what do you want to do? And I said, well, I'd like the part, really. And they said, oh, it's fine. We'll just go and um, take it off the display one. So then they had to find Tom, poor Tom, and he um, had to unscrew everything to try and get these little black pegs out. And I'm not kidding, there were like five people watching him do it, and they still couldn't get these bloody parts out. So they opened another box, a brand new box, and just took the part out. So the next one they're going to sell is going to have a part missing. Yep. Yeah, he could not get them out that you're putting in now. That little black thing's part that was missing. Yeah, you've got to take this off. Yeah, well, he did. Out. He did, yeah. but they still couldn't get them out. Nice. Five of them. <laughs> You'd need some kind of pliers to squeeze it. Yeah. It, it, it's a tricky one to get out. Not going well, to it's to make sure they baby can yeah, get yeah. out. Yeah, it's not coming out with that fight. Yeah, we don't want you to put that in your mouth. <sighs> what, go in, sorry. Do they? But yeah, that was that was why I wanted that so we could clip toys to it. Ridiculous. Is that it? Oh, you need to clip them, and that's the bitch yeah. part. Well, I just wanted to make sure it's complete before I pull all these off. Yeah, Wait, that's yeah, good. So. Right, can we try your beret on now, please? Good. Stop getting witty. We're ready. <laughs> Mon petit. Oh, Mon petit filou. Do you like it? You look like a Girl Scout. Is that so cute? Put her a little beret on. Look how That's reasonably face. adorable. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at you. Oh, Bubba. Look at you. Well, presumably your head's not going to grow much now between nine and now and nine months. It'll stretch as well, won't it? You've got to wear it forward like that, haven't you? Yeah. Got a baby driving. Little berry. Not like Frank Spencer. Oh. No. You're so cute. <laughs> You're looking at the camera. Who is it? Who is it? It's not quite a little tiny. <laughs> Try it. Cleaned it. Where? Yeah, because I cleaned oh, it. Right. I'm going to play some baseball. Mm -hmm. she's I'm like, assuming that she's right handed. Yeah, she tends to chew that side more, doesn't yeah. she? <laughs> she looks like she's like getting something out of the oven. She looks like she's a robot with a chainsaw hand. <laughs> it's a bit baggy on me. Oh, it says for three months. No, it's just, she's got a fist, you see. She won't stretch her hand out. Look at that, chopped with a book. Chopped oh yeah, what is it? Evil what? Dead? Where well, he's got a chainsaw yeah, yeah, hand. Yeah. <laughs> What's that thing inside? You love that book, don't you? <gasps> I didn't even know that was I there. I didn't know that was there. It's a cheeky monkey noise. Oh, she loves it. Favourites, obviously, the... Uh, oh, she doesn't giggle, like that. Giggle, giggle, smiley face. She doesn't like that glove. How did... Oh, I just didn't put it on. <laughs>
and daddy find the thing please daddy right so let's get it out for me right so which end do I suck this end I think that <coughs> we go I think this end goes no he's not laughing at him <laughs> Who's that? Is that you? So I'll just shove this up and suck. Does <laughs> that work? I don't know. <laughs> I can hear it sucking right. up that. Is it actually withdrawing anything? On yeah, it? you can hear it. Listen. Ready? <laughs> yeah, you know. Right. Can you hear it? I reckon it's a black one off. No! Yeah. Then she can't breathe. She's got a mouth. Listen. did work kind of <laughs> it got rid of all the runny very liquidy bogies didn't it but it didn't get the big chunks of snot because she was really congested weren't you so daddy sucked while I aimed it if that makes sense <sighs> but it did work to an extent didn't it? I'm so sorry. But listen, you're not all snotty now. You'll be able to enjoy your bottle a lot more, won't you? <coughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep because it's only half past five. Not supposed to let you nap after ten because it will mean that you sleep through the night. Uh, yeah, which she has kind of not been doing. Because uh, we're on month four, it could be the sleep regression thing that happens, who knows. She's kind of gone to sleep. Alright, come on, come away. It's okay. We went to Bradford this morning. Very remote part of Bradford. Yeah. Um, she's coping alright with that. Fine. So, because I'd seen a high chair, which I wanted, and I've wanted since before she was born, because I thought it was so lovely looking. In fact, it's still in the car, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, we bought it. Uh, £130 brand new, and they had it listed for 55 So I did my, uh, what do you call it when you try and get a deal, you know? Not barter, you're like, mm. yeah, you're about haggling down, though. Um, yeah, but it wasn't really haggling, it was kind of like, oh, it's not really negotiation. What... Yeah, it was uh, a little bit more stained than it looked on the listing because she kind of there's like an insert that goes into it for when they're tiny, and she'd put that in so you couldn't see what the big seated bit was like. And uh, it was quite stained with what I believe is probably carrots. Um, but I'm not bothered. But I thought, oh, I'll see if I can get a fiver off. Anyway, I did. She let me out for 50. So, yeah. That's why today we've pretty much been rearranging um, the house a little bit, haven't we? You know, normally when I'm sat on this sofa, there's a big pile of iron in there, isn't there? <laughs> there isn't any more. There's the cabinet, which is normally here. And then there's this that's normally in the kitchen, but we ain't got room for a high chair and a dining table and this cabinet. So what I'd previously done with this cabinet was uh, hang like neck curtain on it and really done a really half ass job with it because I didn't want to staple it to it because it's really antique, is this? It's really, really old. Um, but I didn't want to have the glass doors like exposing everything because we just want to hide crap in there basically. Um, so I just got some wrapping paper and I didn't see it on DOI on a budget or anything. 
I thought it was quite an ingenious. Don't you think? It suits the uh, suits the unit. Yeah, we've kind of got like a brown gold thing going on here, haven't we? Mm. So yeah, that looks really good. So we've done all that, and then we've changed the kitchen around a little bit, and we could go and get some paint tomorrow actually for it, couldn't we? Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. I'll show you what we've done in there. So in the kitchen, let's put that dribble bib in there. Um, we had that dining table was there. And then that cabinet that's now got the um, wrapping paper was against this wall. But that was my pile of ironing table. <laughs> that was a chair that nobody ever sat on because it was always hidden away. But it kind of does look better, doesn't it? I don't know if you uh, saw my moving in house tour video, but this wall had uh, hideous universe space paper on it and I came home from work one day after we'd moved in obviously and Dan ripped it all down so I think we're going to paint this like a sagey green kind of colour I don't know it might look shit but it's just it's always been that stripped you know emulsion wall over there but yeah any of my new viewers hi this is my kitchen that I hate <laughs> I hate the tiles, I hate the work surface, the sink is hideous, it's like a black plastic brown sink. What? Yes, it is a nice big sink, but it's minging. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's my kitchen. So, can't wait to get that done one day. Look at that baby. Them legs are going mad, are they? A bum's going up as well, isn't it? Oh, she just got a big butt. She's got a massive ass. <laughs> big nappy. Well, she can hold her head up fine, can't mm. she? She just needs to figure out her arms, doesn't she? Yeah, she needs to work out what to do with her legs and her arms. And then when she's got that, she needs Dolly. to... Dolly! Get some basic navigation. Dolly Dot! Dolly Girl! What are you doing? She's dying to move forwards, isn't she? Mm. Yeah, try a bit harder. You <laughs> 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 made me laugh so much. <sighs> 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 Take a breath, didn't mm -hmm. she? I right, feel. <gasps> oh. Yay! Yeah. Oh, it's still filming. Oh, sorry. Daddy, do it. Daddy, do it. <laughs> She's like, I'm okay now. I've seen the camera. This is why you can't let her see the camera because she just gets up. totally distracted. Yeah. Do you? Silly baby. Uh, age appropriate in the background, obviously. We're watching the fall. <laughs> you enjoying it, babes? <laughs> So bossy with that. Right, um, good morning. Uh, I'm gonna tackle this new high chair. It looks really complicated, but it can go into like five different positions. Like, they can have it till they're like a toddler basically, and you can put it on the floor so that it's like a table and chair. I don't know. But I'm gonna have a go at like getting it up and clean it obviously, and 
see how it goes. Oh, it doesn't look that stained now, even. Oh. to move the feet but I can't figure it out. washable this part is wipeable which I'm guessing means can't go to the washing machine this top bit is not spag so no child has ever gone near it but the bottom pretty gross and as you can see it's got like stains all in the line and stuff so I fill the sink with hot water and nappy sand and what was the other thing I put in it like that oxy action powdery stuff I'm just gonna dunk it in. As long as I don't scrub it like mad, I'm sure it's gonna be all right. Mm. I've got an old bottle brush. <laughs> the baby is singing away. She was singing Abba this morning. I have a listen to like Lemon's Rabla. And then Dan's got a listen to like Tears for Fears and Men at Work. <laughs> okay, this looks like it's working because I'm using quite a soft brush on it. It was filthy, was this, when I picked it up. Like, I know when you buy secondhand baby things, you're always going to clean it yourself when you get it home because, you know, well, I, I always do anyway because, you know, I want to make sure it's done to my standards. Not that I really have any, but whatever. Um... But she hasn't even wiped it, this woman. It's absolutely disgusting. Like, if I was selling this, I'd be, you know, making sure it was spick and span for um, like the customer that was buying it, you know? Like, bleach it all out and everything, so. Right, this is looking better. I think this boxy stuff is working. It looks loads better, doesn't it? Let's try this side then. I think it must have been like orange juice or something that's got spilled on it, but it looks tons better. Look, it's tons better, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, baby. Can you Are you putting her in a swing? I, I need to go for a quick food. Oh, do you? Yeah. Look. <laughs> you like it in this seat. You don't need to wash you that back in this seat. <laughs> <laughs> if you bend your body. Yeah. If you allow me to position you in the seat. Yeah, it's very fun. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'll just rinse it and squeeze it out with some hot water and then just leave it to dry. So I'm a bit disappointed I can't 
try her out in it today, so I don't want to put her in a wet seat, obviously. So. Good God, yeah, it's both better. What, your car? Yeah. Oh, wow. I thought been fucking with this before I had it. Oh, wow, smooth as cream, butter and milk. Chocolate. Chocolate, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to get my massage now. Dan's going to take the baby on a little walk, can't you? Or at least a definite drive. Or a drive? Yeah. Why? Just tweak the car, isn't it? It feels better. Oh, right. Well, okay. well I yeah, why don't you walk. drop me off, go for your little drive, yeah. and then go for a walk, for a walk when we... Yeah. If, if I'm feeling up to it, yeah, despite course, a yeah, bruise for how out of me. Spine, it'll be just <laughs> Probably. It is Granny's birthday. So you haven't put you haven't taken a sticker off the back of the other one, have you? you shouldn't have had a sticker on it. It did, it was two pound. Oh, she'll love that. There we go. Well I just told her now anyway. Yeah, but she's seeing this tomorrow, this thing going up tomorrow. Yes. Right. Grandma um Granny, sorry, is having her birthday tomorrow. So I wanna put Dot's fingerprint on the if she's got lots of fingers me. in her mouth. <laughs> so I've got this little um, chalk stamp. I'm just gonna put this on a finger and like that, and then I've got a baby white ready. Here we go. All right, is this hand? That hand's wet, so I'll have a dry hand, please, Daddy. Oh, it's so tiny. Can we take your prints, please, ma'am? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> That's rubbish. Yeah, but it's a dot. Uh, a dot. Check your finger. Is it all gone? Yeah. There. That's perfect. What are you talking about? I'm just making a little note. Mummy tried to <laughs> make me do a finger. Print, but I smudged it. Cute. I think that was really cute. <laughs> Dan's gonna go um, take the baby for a walk and post these. And I need to like ow, just got down for a minute. I need to recover. From that massage this morning it wasn't like as brutal as i'm used to and uh, that's probably a good thing so i used to have to ask her to stop massaging me because she was so painful my last one um but this new girl's just starting out and she did a nice job she's really nice really chatty ow i just feel like bruised everywhere it's horrible um but yeah it was nice <sighs> just hope it works and then i need to put the mountain of laundry away. It's all clean and dried, but I need to put it all away. I'm just keeping my eye on the perfect prep milk machine because I don't want it to overflow and it's in cleaning cycle. Good morning. It's the next day and I'm feeling quite sore, bruised. <laughs> um, baby's asleep. It's just before half past eight. Hi, sunshine. I'm going out to work and I thought I'd finish the vlog here because it got pretty long. So, looking forward to the next few days. My brother's coming up to visit um, from London, which would be awesome, with my niece, Charlotte. I call her Charlotte, a full name, Charlie. She's a cool teenager now. Um, so that's it. We're, uh, we're done. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.